What's up, a cinema show gun here, and has anyone heard about this weird social experiment that NASA is conducting right now? Well, if you haven't, let me catch you up to date on what's going on here, or catch you up to speed, because apparently NASA is taking four people and they are locking them inside of this enclosure that's supposed to be kind of like living on Mars, they're locking them in this enclosure for over a year. And they're basically going to watch them like animals. They're going to observe how they act. Um, they're going to observe what happens to their mental state and how they feel being locked in this environment that's supposed to be like Mars. It's really weird, and it really feels like humans in some ways are being turned into guinea pigs. It's like the rich and powerful people in these big organizations. It feels sometimes like we're living inside of a fish tank, and the powers that run this world and the powerful people are all kind of observing us tapping on the glass looking at us and that's what this little social experiment reminds me of apparently they got two guys two girls and they're putting them in this like small little almost it looks kind of like a little apartment i guess it's supposed to be like a spaceship that lands on mars and when they go out of this little spaceship they're inside of a Mars environment that NASA created. They're going to try to like plant plants, survive. It's really weird. It's really weird and it comes at a time where there's a lot of weird stuff going on already. UFOs are dominating the headlines. Government officials, whistleblowers from the CIA, the Pentagon, the military, you name it, they're coming forward talking about aliens and extraterrestrial life and now we got NASA conducting these weird little experiments but instead of trying to explain to you all what's going on here because it's kind of weird and I think you need to see for yourself I want you all to go ahead and watch this clip before you do hit the thumbs up button it's free it only takes a couple of seconds hit that thumbs up we're gonna watch this clip and then I'm gonna be back because I have a lot to say about this Imagine an opportunity to volunteer to be away from your family in an enclosed 1,700 square foot area for 378 days for more than a year with three other people in nine rooms, including one shared bathroom. A common area and a small area outside that isn't really outside was made to look like the surface of Mars. Would you do it? Well, 4,000 people applied for the four spots to effectively be human guinea pigs, and these were the chosen ones. Commander Kelly Haston, Medical Officer Nathan Jones, Flight Engineer Ross Brockwell, and Science Officer Anka Solario. Those are the four volunteers of NASA's Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog, AKA Chapia experiment, a simulated mission to Mars housed inside the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Yesterday, the four entered a sealed 3D printed fake Martian habitat where they'll stay for more than a year in the name of science. These are not astronauts. The mission commander is a Canadian scientist, as a structural engineer from Virginia, a doctor from Illinois, a Navy microbiologist, smart, accomplished people, yes, but these are volunteers offering to participate in basically an extended physiological experiment to help NASA figure out how people respond to being in an environment like a manned Mars space mission. They'll go through the motions of simulated spacewalks, science experiments, trying to grow crops. But really, it's about their reactions to these things, how well they handle what has got to be a tough experience. The crew will have access to phone calls to the outside world, except the calls will have a 22-minute delay, which is what it would be like to communicate with mission control if you were on Mars. So... No sun, fresh air until next July. 
everything, literally everything they do, tested and monitored by NASA scientists. These types of missions are not new, but this is certainly one of the longest. Joining me now, space journalist Robert Perlman, founder and editor of Collect Space. He's been following the progress of the project since it was first announced two years ago. Robert, thanks very much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. So how do these thanks types of experiments me. typically go? So normally they're shorter. Normally they're 45 days in length or a little bit longer. Um, they're, they're simulated missions to an asteroid, for example. Uh, there have been longer ones. There have been a 560-day mission uh, that Russia ran um, to simulate a full trip to Mars, not just the time on the surface, but the time to get there and back. This is the first time NASA is doing one this long. Wow. All right, I want to keep showing not the four. I want to show the, the house uh, that they're going to be uh, living in there. Um, you know, wh what are they looking for in terms of the psychological effects? I mean, I'd assume that, you know, it's going to be really hard to be in there, right, and be living this way for over a year. Well, the reason they're doing this is to learn what are the, the stressors that a crew would undergo on Mars. If you're locked inside a, a small habitat with only the ability to go out by spacesuit into uh, the barren land on, on Mars to do some geology, collect some rocks, look at the sites, which would be absolutely phenomenal. But um, the but you have to survive with four other people inside uh, for up to a year and a half. Um, you have to find out what what triggers them. Is it that you're eating the same thing every day um, and you're limited to space food, not fresh food? Uh, sharing a bathroom, as you mentioned, um, even the normal things that, that take here on Earth for families and and people who live together, uh, you know, little ticks, little pet peeves. Yeah. They want to find out how best they can put together a crew and how best they can provide them the resources to avoid those conflicts. Couldn't they just watch one of those reality shows where they put celebrities in a house together and see what happens? <laughs> well, it's funny, you, you know, there, there is a show right now about putting celebrities on Mars. And in, in some ways, what they're showing is exactly what these astronauts are going through. But the big difference is, and they're not astronauts, they're astronaut likes. Um, same, re same requirements and same uh, uh, qualifications as real astronauts, but not they won't be flying to space. Um, but it, the real difference here is that they will be monitored by scientists, by researchers yeah. to really learn really? what it takes to I go I got to 10 seconds. Are they getting paid for this? Uh, there is compensation offered. All right. uh, they did not disclose how much. Okay, well, I'd be very curious to know how much. Robert Perlman, thanks very much for coming on. Appreciate it. You know, I am far from a paranoid person, and I'm not someone that automatically goes to conspiracies when looking at a situation. But I can't help but get this overwhelming feeling like something is coming. Like something big, something life-changing for all of us is coming. From this to what's going on with these UFO whistleblowers and, you know, our government, Congress, the Senate openly talking about aliens and stuff now, I can't help but get the sense that we are on the brink of something. And I feel like we're getting prepared for it. Maybe they're trying to desensitize us. Who knows? But I don't think it's a conspiracy to think that. In fact, I think that's the logical conclusion when you see everything that's going on. And it's almost like, you know... Like animals, they can sense danger. Sometimes they can sense when something's not right. I feel like most humans who haven't had their senses died down and dumbed down by social media, cell phones, TV, I don't know. I feel like there are people out here who have been dumbed down to the point where they can't even spot danger. They can't sense when something's wrong. And I feel like we as humans, just like animals, we have been given that inner instinct of knowing when something isn't right or knowing when something is wrong or knowing when danger is near. You know what I mean? And a lot of people have had those senses dumbed down. But my senses tell me that something is coming and they're preparing us for it. And when I say they're preparing us for it, I don't necessarily mean that they have our best interest in mind. 
Maybe they're mentally preparing us for another psychological type of attack that they're going to perform on us. Who knows? But looking at this little experiment, it's interesting. And I wish they had like a live stream camera so we could tune in as well. This kind of reminds me of the reality show Big Brother. Do any of you all watch Big Brother? This is kind of like Big Brother on Mars. Now you take two dudes and two women and you put them in there for over a year in a close, tight space. Someone's going to be boinking in there. Someone's coming out of here pregnant. And it may be the men because, you know, men can get pregnant, too, according to science. That's why I don't trust science anymore. All that science mumbo jumbo went out the window when they started talking about men getting pregnant and things like that. But anyways, let's not go on that rant. Someone's coming out of here pregnant. Someone's going to be getting in arguments. Hopefully these people get along because NASA doesn't know how these people are going to react. For all we know, someone can go crazy in there and start murdering people. But yeah, it's just, it's just something odd. It's something really odd about knowing that humans are just observing other humans for like, science projects it almost takes the humanity out of people you know what i mean i don't know how to necessarily explain it but when you're like yeah we're gonna lock these people up in a room and we're gonna watch them for a year it makes me feel like these people are being dehumanized in a way like how are y'all any different than freaking lab rats because that's what y'all all are right now and I mean, I understand maybe there's benefits to this research and stuff like that. So I'm not necessarily saying I'm 100% I'm against this research. I'm just saying it's kind of weird and it comes at a very odd time. Now, NASA has conducted weird research for years. They've kind of done things like this before, but they've never locked, as, as far as we know, they do a lot of stuff behind the scenes. As far as we know, They've never locked someone up in a Mars environment for a year and a half to see how they react. Um, they're going to be eating space food, I guess. <sighs> Man, I, I would hate being in there. I want to know how much money they're making and what all do they have access to in that apartment? I see they have TVs and computers, but do they work? Would that even be realistic? Like, you're not going to be sitting there watching The Price is Right on Mars. So, hopefully they brought a good book along the way. But yeah, it's just, it's just insane. And it's just, you know, further proof that we are, as a society, we are moving into the next chapter of humanity. And we're all here to witness it. You know, we are witnessing more change than any other past generation has really witnessed, almost. You know what I mean? Like, think about people who lived 40 years ago, 30 years ago and stuff. We're witnessing more change. There has been so much change in our world over the last couple of years. It's been drastic. And if you can't, if you haven't noticed, we're definitely, as a species, we're moving on to the next step. What that step is, I don't know. But it's obvious, it's obvious if you're paying attention that we're moving into something different. The whole world is acting different. Everyone's going crazy. And it looks like they're preparing us for aliens. They're trying to prepare us for life on different planets. You know, um, a lot of these powerful people, they're building bunkers and stuff. They're doomsday prepping. It's, it's getting wild out here, folks. I hope you all are paying attention. But yeah, this is um, an interesting little experiment. I want to look into this more. I have not really looked into this that much, but I want to look into this more to see what's really going to be going on in there, what they hope to gain from this and all of that good stuff. Let me know your thoughts though down below while you're down there. Hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I will talk to you all in the next video.